In this video, we are going to talk about trapezoidal rule of numerical integration. So, what is trapezoidal rule of numerical integration? Suppose we have a function f of x and we know the values of f of x0 and f of x1. Now, we want to evaluate the integration of f of x dx where limit of integration runs from x0 to x1. So, according to trapezoidal rule of numerical integration, we will be having something like this. That is, integration of f of x dx where limit of integration runs from x0 to x1 is equal to x1 minus x0 whole into f of x0 plus f of x1 whole divided by 2. Now, let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we have a function something like this. Here, suppose this is our x0, so this will be our f of x0. This is our x1, so this will be our f of x1. Now, if we perform the integration analytically, then we will be evaluating this violet area. Now, if we perform the same integration with the help of trapezoidal rule of numerical integration, then we will be evaluating this blue area. Actually, this blue area is a trapezoid, hence the name trapezoidal rule of numerical integration. Now let's talk about the errors associated with the trapezoidal rule of numerical integration. This is the same function which we have earlier considered. This is our same x0, this is our f of x0, this is the same x1, this is our same f of x1. So now once again if we perform the integration analytically then we will be evaluating this violet area. Now we will be performing the integration using the trapezoidal rule. Now this time we will be getting this deep blue colored area. Now there is the violet area which is above the blue trapezoid but which is below the green line. This is known as the error of the trapezoidal rule of numerical integration. As we can see that this error is quite a lot. So we need to find a way to reduce this amount of error. So what people have used is something known as composite trapezoidal rule of numerical integration. This is the trapezoidal rule of numerical integration which we have considered until now. Here we are going from x0 to x1 in a single step. But in composite trapezoidal rule of numerical integration, we will be increasing the number of steps so that we will be able to achieve better accuracy. Suppose if we make the number of steps is equal to 2, then we will be getting something like this. Here as we can see from the figure that the error has reduced significantly. If we keep on increasing the number of steps, suppose we make it 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8. Here we are seeing that this is actually quite similar to the analytical result, which is something like this. So what people have concluded is that as the number of steps increases, we are getting closer to the analytical integration. This is all about trapezoidal rule of numerical integration. Thank you for watching.